Hey y'all, Jim Panky here with a good old tune called Bill Cheetah. Now I know, I covered this several years ago, just real quick and somewhat simple. This will be a little more advanced. We're going to be covering some melodic licks and some ideas, so I, I think you're going to enjoy this. Uh, this is similar to how I normally might approach this tune, and uh, I'm, I'm going to show you some fun little melodic ideas. And... Uh, I don't know. If you're ready for it, you're ready for it. If you need the tab, I will be putting a tab somewhere. Uh, I don't know where you find those. Are they right there? Yeah, I think so. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so, but, 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 if you like this sort of thing, uh, you know, maybe leave a thumbs up and uh, maybe a comment and uh, you, you could subscribe. You could. A lot of you haven't done that. So why not, why not hit that subscribe button? Doesn't cost you anything. And if you want notifications when I post new stuff just like this, ring that bell. All right. All right, let's dive into this thing. We're going to start open. It's just a 4 2. And then we're going to be at the eighth fret on the fourth string. And I know that's a little dissonant sound. And I kind of like it. You could do it at the seventh fret if that made you happy. So it could sound like either, or it could be whichever one you like. Your choice. You got to do it twice. You could do it different both times. And then we're going to jump right into our first melodic lick, your uh, ring finger, fourth string, seventh fret. It's going to be a lot of inside work. So you're middle finger, your social finger on your right hand is going to come up on your second string, and that may be new to you. You got to get used to it. You can do it. So the pattern is three, four, two, four, three, two, four, three. So and then you're going to come back to the third fret on the fourth string. Now you're going to grab a partial C. You could grab the whole thing if you wanted. We're still on the inside. We're going to do a forward roll. Four, three, two, five. And then back to the second string. So it's and then five. And now we're going to do a C melodic lick. You're going to come down here to the uh, fifth fret and I'm on the two inside strings, the second and the third string. We're just going to hold that. So it's two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one. And we pick that two up that time. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, I, I hope so. I hope so. All right. So here's what you've got so far. goes back to that first leg. And instead of going to the three, we're just going to go four, two. So that whole melodic phrase is... Got it? All right. And now we are going to be at the... Uh, we're going to do another C lick, and it sounds like... That's a C to G lick. Starts on the fifth fret, third string. So three, two, three, one. Just holding that. And then you're going to come down to the uh, index on the first string, fourth fret, middle finger, second string, fifth fret. And that's just uh, two, one. So. One is open. Now you're going to move over to the third string, with, still on the fifth fret. Second string open. Then seventh fret on the uh, fourth string. And then third string open. And then I hit the fifth. So that lick sounds like... At that point, 
you go all the way back to the beginning. All, all the way back. All right. And, and, and it just repeats. So let, let's play through that slowly. That whole, the whole thing. The next part, some of this will be familiar. So we're going to start with a Dillard roll. So that's just one, two, one, five. So you do that open and then C. So you've, you've got that. One, two, one, five. One, two, one, five. Now we're going to do a, a little melodic lick. And this is going to be a little stretchy, but you can do You can do it. Okay. Uh. Give yourself time. If you've worked through some of these tunes and, and you've done these stretches, you shouldn't have a problem with it. If, if this is new to you, give yourself some time. You'll be able to do it. Index on the first string, fourth fret, social finger, second string, second string, second string, uh, fifth fret, and uh, pinky, seventh fret on the third string. And so that, and the right hand is one, three, two, one, five. So that phrase. And then hit the fifth. So that whole phrase again. You don't have a lot of time to get from that C to that that shape okay so you're gonna have to spend some time with it you can do it i can do it you can do it and then we do another little melodic lick and see so just starting we're working on that fifth fret second string so five two one and then you move over to the third string, still with the fifth fret. And then we're going to go to five and four position. So your index is going to go down, second and first string. And then five, two, one, move over to the third. And then hit the four. And I just hit that four. I, I want, I want it, I want that to ring. To, I mean, you could hit pretty much anything there if you wanted. So let's do that whole phrase. It's tricky, but you can do it. All right, and then we're going to do that same little starting again. We're going to do a tag we've done before, and it's five, two, one, five, two, one, five, two. So we've, we've done that before. So let's walk through it. Five, two, so we're at seven and five. And then we're at five and four, two, one, five, two, and then one, three, I've moved over to the fifth fret, two, seven, open. So. Sometimes I'll use my ring finger there. Sometimes I use my pinky, which it's kind of up to you. And it's kind of what you can grab kind of quick. So let's, let's wander through this whole thing. We'll do the A part once and the B part once. Now in an actual jam session or if you play it with a band or whatever a a b b you do the each part twice but we're just going to go through it slow one time one part through the a and one part through the b all right your A part. 
part and then your B part. Now, on that, on that B part, sometimes, sometimes, instead of, uh, so after, that second time. I might hit the fifth string twice instead of hitting five, three. And I did that in the demo. It's just whatever feels right to you at the moment. Because both notes are right. Well, they're both G's, right? Same notes. And then tang. All right, now that's that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. But you can do it. Take your time. If you if you just grab one little bit of this, you don't you don't have to look. Don't memorize this. Don't. I mean, steal a lick here and there. Get some ideas from it apply these ideas to songs that you already know or just let it seep into your head you do not have to play and nor would i expect you to play every single note that i play there's there's no point in that you don't you don't have to do that you you can do this your way you can <laughs> so take take ideas even if it's just the tag or if it's whatever that you're grabbing out of this thing, whatever little bits and pieces, and add them to your version of Bill Cheatham, if you want. I hope all of that helps. I hope that you will take ideas and, and apply them to songs that you already know. I know you can do this. I know you can play this song. Uh, let me know down in the comments how you're doing with it. All right, folks, we'll see you next time.